Uh, Sony claim a 45% increase in graphical power compared to uh, PS5 with a major improvement of ray tracing and upscaling too. Which PC GPU do you believe will most closely match the new PS5 Pro GPU? Now, this is really tricky, right? Because um, obviously there were a great there was a great deal of commonality between the PlayStation 5 uh, GPU and the RX 6700 10 gig. Um, same level of compute units, uh, broadly similar processing power, different memory bandwidth. But when we tested it in like-for-like -like, uh, scenarios, very, very close. Um, there are two AMD GPUs that we've kind of had in mind for this, um, and they would be the AMD RX Radeon 6800, not the 6800 XT. That should deliver your 45% uh, GPU improvement over uh, base PS5. Or, um, and it also has 60 compute units, I believe. And the alternative to that from the RDNA 3 lineup would be the RX 7800 Seven. XT, but you would need to downclock that significantly to about like 2.15 gigahertz, I think, um, to get a similar level of compute. The problem with talking about all of this is that um, neither of those GPUs will presumably have the RDNA 4 based RT features that are in that we think are in the PlayStation 5 Pro, so that probably wouldn't be a good match. Similarly, there's not going to be any machine learning silicon in there. Um, it's just extensions. It's just it's just running um, ML extensions on the CUs, right? On our DNA three, is that correct, Alex? I think that's the case. Yeah, that's it. That's at least for the consumer product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yes, there's there's nothing to run Pisser on. Uh, or, or even <laughs> you know, an equivalent. I am intrigued as to what the footprint of XESS DP4A is, but it's not the same thing. So, mm. yeah. Mm. Um, we were thinking about the RTX 3070 Ti, I think, Alex. Yeah. Um, Broad, broadly but... equivalent compute, does have DLSS, does have better ray tracing, but even then it's mostly guesswork on the, yeah. those features. It's like, yeah, that's guesswork. And also if we're doing comparisons and trying to get that to get proper on PC, the, the PS5 Pro is going to have more available graphics memory, which is going to, like, there's no great analog at the moment until maybe RDNA 4 comes out and then we'll start seeing more analogs, I think. I, I mean, the CU will be different in RDNA 4, but we'll at least have something hopefully more similar and hopefully by RDNA 4, we're going to be start seeing uh, machine learning acceleration in desktop GPUs from AMD. Yeah. 